Last week was the Winter 2019 TCA panel for FX, and we got some of our first major news about the ninth season of American Horror Story, as well as an update on the statuses of American Crime Story and Feud. Now before we get started, I just want to say thank you to all of you that nominated me for Best Content Creator at the American Horror Story Fan Awards because I actually got the nomination. The link to vote for the actual award is in the description and the pinned comment. Consider voting for me, but I know I'm a fan of everyone else in my category, so don't feel too bad if you prefer one of the others. But you can also vote multiple times, so if you like me and anyone else in the category, you can vote for both of us. But anyways, on with the video. Let's begin with everything we found out about the future of American Horror Story. I will be discussing news from the TCA panel as well as just everything we know about the ninth season as of February 2019. Firstly, we have our first two confirmed cast members to be in the season. From Coven, Freak Show, Cult, and Apocalypse, Emma Roberts is returning for her fifth role in the series. Nothing is known on what extent of a role she will have, whether it be main, guest, or recurring, but all we do know is her character's relation to the next confirmed cast member. The second confirmed cast member to be joining the ninth season is Olympian Gus Kenworthy. This is not only his first American Horror Story role, but also his first acting role ever. Gus will be playing the boyfriend of Emma Roberts' character. Unfortunately, this is the only cast and plot-related news we have, however, there's still a lot of other news regarding American Horror Horror story that we need to unpack. But before I do that, I would like to speculate on some other cast members that I think should be safe to bet money on appearing in the ninth season. First off, the obvious, I think Evan Peters and Sarah Paulson are sure to return. They've been in every season and do not seem to be looking for any other projects during the American Horror Story production. Next we have Billy Eichner. Billy has appeared in Cult and Apocalypse and I do not think we've seen the last of him. On Watch What Happens Live, both Sarah Paulson and Billy Eichner revealed that they do know information about season 9. In the interview with both Sarah and Billy, which I will not show because I don't want a copyright strike, a caller asks what they can expect from the ninth season. Billy and Sarah both respond in silence and with negative head nods. Andy Cohen then asks if they know anything about the season, even though they may not be able to speak about it. And to that question, they both admit that they do know information about the ninth season. I don't think Ryan would disclose any information to Billy unless he already has a role for him or intended on him being in the season. So I think it's pretty safe to count on Billy and Sarah on season nine based on that Andy Cohen interview alone. Next, we have a vague but hopeful statement by John Landgraf, who is the FX chief. When reassuring the press about the future of American Horror Story and FX, despite Ryan Murphy's Netflix deal, Landgraf stated that he plans on doing, quote, many more seasons, unquote, of the show with Ryan Murphy. Now, American Horror Story was previously renewed for season 9 and 10 last summer, but this statement seems to insinuate that even more seasons are possible after season 10. And just as a note, I do expect an early September premiere date for season 9, just like we've had with the past couple of seasons. Alright, so that's all the information that we know regarding the ninth season of American Horror Story. But next, I would like to update you all on the future of American Crime Story, because we did get a lot of updates. As I previously mentioned in my The Future of American Crime Story video, the next installment was intended to be titled Katrina and revolve around the crimes committed during the infamous Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans in 2005. This Katrina-themed season of American Crime Story has now been cancelled, so that is not happening anymore. This comes after the announcement of the cancellation of the Monica Lewinsky-centered season, so that is also still not happening. Despite the only two announced concepts for the future of American Crime Story being cancelled, John Landgraf is still hopeful. He reassured the panel that FX is still developing three or four different concepts for upcoming seasons. And FX does plan on making future seasons. That quote where he said he plans on doing many more seasons of American Horror Story, he said he also plans on doing many more seasons of American Crime Story. But those two concepts are not going to be happening in this series anytime soon. So American Crime Story is not cancelled, but it appears to have gotten deeper in development hell. Unless the scrapping of Katrina actually will help pull it out of its pit, which I can see also happening because, as you know, they've been having many um, reworkings of Katrina. There were two different iterations that were announced of Katrina, but now it's completely scrapped, so maybe there was just too much trouble 
with Katrina and now with that out of the way they can focus on maybe a more easy concept to actually get done. I highly recommend watching my The Future of American Crime Story video if you're interested in what the Katrina and Lewinsky seasons would have revolved around because I did go into their source material and what the actual season would actually be about. Alright, so from one stalled Ryan Murphy series to the other, now we have an update on the future of Feud. This update is unfortunately not as hopeful as American Horror Story and American Crime Story. The latest word on the status of Feud is Basically, they have no idea. Basically, all they said about Feud is that nobody, including Ryan and including FX, have any idea on what the future of Feud looks like. With no idea, it's hard to imagine the second season of Feud going into development or production anytime soon. Next, let's talk about Ryan's upcoming Netflix shows, because we do have a lot of information on that. Ratched, the series starring Sarah Paulson revolving around Nurse Ratched from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, is filming currently, and set photos have leaked, revealing a first look of Sarah Paulson as the infamous nurse. Aside from Sarah Paulson, the remaining cast of Ratched is as follows. Rosanna Arquette in an unknown recurring role, Vincent D'Onofrio as Jern Milburn, also as a recurring role, Don Cheadle in an unknown recurring role, Alexandra Englert in an unknown recurring role, Annie Stark in a unknown recurring role, and then we have unknown roles for Finn Whitrock, John John Briones, Charlie Carver, Judy Davis, Harriet Harris, Cynthia Nixon, Hunter Parrish, Amanda Plummer, Corey Stoll, and Sharon Stone. Ryan Murphy is an executive producer for Ratched and will be the director of the first episode. Another new Ryan Murphy show coming to Netflix is The Politician, which is created by Murphy alongside Glee and Scream Queens co-creators Ian Brennan and Brad Falchuk. The cast for this one is insane. We've got Ben Platt, Jessica Lange, Gwyneth Paltrow, Zoe Dutch, Lucy Boynton, Laura Dreyfus, Rain Jones, Dylan McDermott, and January Jones. The series is a comedy musical and will revolve around Ben Platt's character, who is named Peyton, and each season will revolve around a different political race that he is involved in. Alright, so now just a quick rundown on every other Ryan Murphy project that I haven't talked about and what the status of those are before I go. 911 Season 2 returns March 18th on Fox with a likely Season 3 renewal in its future. Pose is renewed for Season 2 and will likely air summer 2019. Scream Queens is possibly coming back, but I have a whole video about that, so check it out. I highly recommend any fan of Scream Queens to go watch my video on everything we know about the possible reboot reunion of Scream Queens. Alright, so that's that is just an update on just about every current Ryan Murphy show, so I'll wrap this video here. Make sure you subscribe for more Ryan Murphy content and news, and give this video a like if you feel like it. I would also like to thank my patrons, Issa Fashion Killa, Kinky Kitty, Kiki Art, Justin Caranta, and Yvonne Valdez. Also, I just want to say thank you for 6,000 subscribers. I really appreciate that's a crazy number to me. I don't really understand what's going on, but thank you anyway. Also, I know this video has a lot of also's, but also I have finally joined Instagrams. So if you want to follow this channel on Instagram, it's at Ryan Murphy Verse, and I'm also still on Twitter at Ryan Murphy Verse, and I plan on using both of those a lot more. Now I know most people have clicked off of the video by now, but I seriously just want to say a big thank you to all of you who have helped get this channel nominated for the American Horror Story Fan Award, and it really does mean a lot. This channel couldn't exist without you guys, so this is really all you guys that have done this. Because like, when I started this channel, I never thought I would get more than 20 views, and I can't believe that now we're here at 6,000 subscribers and almost a million total video views. That's like really insane to me, and I want to make sure that you know how grateful I am that the people care enough about my opinions to watch, like, and subscribe to this content. Content. and the reception for my last video was insanely positive and I did not expect that at all after my three month hiatus. That Scream Queens video is like 50 likes away from being my most liked video ever, which is also crazy. And I just wanna take this moment to thank you all. So thanks to anyone who's stuck around throughout that three month hiatus. Once again, the link to vote for the award is in the pinned comment and description, but keep in mind you can vote more than once and each of the people nominated in the category, they're all great at what they do and they've been super nice and supportive to me, so I think they all deserve your vote as well. All right, so that's it for me in this video. So once again, thank you, and I'll see you soon.